wanted to show how we can um, use 2D shapes to compose either pictures or to make other shapes. So I'm just going to add a shape here. I'm going to add in my trapezoid. And I'm going to add um, a rhombus and a green triangle too. And I'm just going to just duplicate that for a moment. And I can show how I can use one rhombus and one triangle to make a trapezoid. So that's how we're talking about with composing 2D shapes with other shapes. Same thing, I can take this one and I can just all I do is spin it around and right there right put them together and I made myself a trapezoid right so if we put a trapezoid in there right they look just alike same thing I can take my blue rhombus and I'm just gonna duplicate it a few times and again Remember, the defining and non-defining attributes of a shape don't determine the position that it's in. As long as it has, you know, the same sides and vertices, then it'll still be a shape. So even though I'm spinning it, it's still a rhombus. And right, when I move them together, right, there you go. I made myself another trapezoid. And you can Hey, Carlos, what you doing? I'm making a puzzle. Tell me more. I want you to use the two square shapes to make this shape. That's an easy puzzle. Okay, try this one. What shapes can I use? Three triangles. Hmm, does it fit here? So another triangle would fit on this side. Ah, oh, I see where the last triangle fits. I can spin it and put it here. Ugh. All right, try this one. It's a hexagon. You can use three rhombuses. Okay, three rhombuses. Well, it's hard, huh? Yes, it's hard. I'm trying to find a corner of the hexagon that matches a corner of the rhombus. Hmm, I think this can fit here or here. Okay, now I have to spin one around to fit it under the first one. Yeah, now I can see how the last rhombus fits. You did it, hooray for you. Hooray for me. Your puzzles were a challenge, but they were fun. Thank you, Carlos. You're welcome how you can use the pattern blocks in Seesaw to help you complete your math work. So over here you have the three dots. So you're going to click on it and you'll see it gives you the option for shapes or background. We're going to click on shapes and down here you'll see the different pattern blocks that we need to use. So you have the orange square, green triangle, blue rhombus, red trapezoid, yellow hexagon, and then the tan rhombus. So when you can click on them and it'll add it to your page. I wouldn't worry so much about making it bigger or smaller because when you're adding the different shapes onto it and you need to compose new shapes, you kind of want them to be the same size. You don't want anything to be bigger or larger. So um, I'm just going to show you with the trapezoid how I can use other shapes to make a trapezoid as well. So I'm just going to add an extra trapezoid in there so that you can see and then for the shapes I want a pink red trapezoid and I'm just going to layer right on top and then you'll kind of be able to see and you'll see why I say it's don't change the size of the shapes because you can see how perfectly the trapezoid fits on top of the hexagon and the blue rhombus So when you're doing um, the work today, you can see how you can rotate the shapes, but don't make the shapes 
any bigger than they need to be because if you're like making it bigger then it's not going to fit there and then you're not going to be able to really understand the work so just wanted to show you that and I hope you have a great day